We ask people to count their blessings on a regular basis. Say every Sunday night you sit down, you write down five things for which you're grateful and kind of try to contemplate that. And we found that the students who counted their blessings once a week, every Sunday night, became happier. A couple studies we did, we asked people to commit acts of kindness on a regular basis. You know, they're going out and they're putting change in parking meters and they're, you know, helping their friend with homework or was visiting someone in the nursing home or, you know, really doing real, you know, concrete behaviors. And it seems to me from our experience that the acts of kindness so far has been, have been uh, the most effective. Mother Teresa, a symbol of compassion, opened her first home for dying and destitute people here in Kolkata, India. Andy Wimmer is a volunteer at the home. I was a banker and computer manager for many years and a quite ambitious fellow. I wanted to become the uh, youngest bank, bank director there, spoiled with a good income, uh, used and spent a lot of money and uh, had a good life actually, enjoyed the life. Yeah. Uh, I used to, to waste a lot of money on fashion, for example. I was quite a fellow with quite, you know, into fashion and all these things. <laughs> but uh, it, is, it is not important anymore. I always felt that there is more in this life, you know, than just going to the bank and having a good salary and having a good career and maybe a uh, wife and children and, and that's it, it can't be. Life is such a precious and beautiful thing There should be some more, you know. I met someone who worked in the home for the dying, and then and he said, I show you that place, and if you like uh, feeling helping us, then you're welcome. Na? Bon appetit. I remember when I came first into the home for the dying, the first thing I saw was a young, dying boy, maybe 15 years old, in very bad condition. And I had to feed him. And uh, I, I don't know, I fed him and he ate with great difficulties. But then he opened his eyes and, and looked at me and I thought, so that's it now. You know? So it was like a flash, it was like a small enlightenment. You, you learn a lot from these patients we, we care for. For example, acceptance and tolerance also. So we pick the people up usually from garbage dumps and from, from railway station platforms and admit them in the home. And then with uh, basic medical care, we try to save their lives. But the most important is to show them that they are loved by God, that they are not forgotten, that their, their life is precious that someone cares. So we do everything by hand. But there is a tremendous um, sweetness in taking someone's burden up a little bit. Just to lift this little bent body and take that burden away a little bit and, and, and help him to carry it. My life has a meaning. You have someone, a dying man in front of you, a dying young man, and he asks for a glass of water. It's just very little. But it's so important to give him this glass of water. It's, a, it's a, such a symbolic act even, you know? I got this life. I got uh, my parents, my friends. I was never really sick. I had always enough food to eat. I am the first one in my generations which never experienced a war. For me, my life is like a loan given from God. And I will give this loan back, but with interest. And that's what, what we do. You serve your brother in front of you who is in need and it gives yourself a fulfilled, happy life. Perfect, no?